We have one of the most vocal populations of gay people in the state, and it's pretty much live and let live. Laramie resident Jeffrey Lockwood. My secret hope was that they were from somewhere else, that then, of course, you can create that distance. We don't grow children like that here. Well, it's pretty clear that we do grow children like that here. So that was uh, the Laramie project is basically um, the, the, this theater company, they went to Laramie and conducted over 200 interviews to people in the town and just what actually happened before before Matthew Shepard was killed, during, and then afterwards, like, and also the aftermath of all of it. Really, to play so many different characters, it's quite a challenge because you just you, you just try to figure out how, many, how each of them are because they're all very different. Like, sometimes I end up playing like, the same person. It's very it's tricky sometimes to go back and forth. But I mean, it's, overall it's fun because you're not just focusing on one plot, you're focusing on everyone else's story. Well, so getting to deal with all the issues of, you know, like the contrast of like small town versus like, you know, the world kind of under the, you know, the eye of the media and like homosexuality versus, you know, not homosexuality and just all these social contrasts that are presented in the show, the lower class from the upper class. It's really interesting to see those put against each other because it's very rare that you see all those different ideas presented as one thing. It's, it's super interesting to see all these different elements so closely related to one another. They're all very much intertwined, you know, so that, it, you know, it, it makes for a very interesting theater, I think. And then quite frankly, the media descended and there was no time to reflect In on it the anymore. play, one of the requirements is that the media just descends on the town of Laramie after this crime happens. Um, and it affected everybody in the, in the community. And so we wanted something that intruded into that. And our AV, uh, instructor Ann LaPietra got involved in the process and Aaron started talking about 11 monitors and you know and um, it was it was just it just kind of grew the concept grew and then we started talking about well what what do we want to have and, and I knew that I wanted to have live camera operators filming action that was happening on stage. Uh, to be on stage the entire time is it's a lot of fun. This is my first production that I've been such a such a that I've had such a role like that. Um, I don't know if it's nerve wracking because I love I love the nerves you get before a show. Um, it's definitely interesting because you know that that even though the focus is elsewhere at the moment, there's still people watching how you're reacting. Laramie is big about listening because it's, we're a bunch of tiny moments. Like I think it's very big on how people deal with the effect of hate crimes in the community. The reason it got worldwide attention is because it was deemed a hate crime early on. You know, that he was, he was targeted because he was gay. I don't think it's designed necessarily to, um, you know, have a big emotional impact, but I think it, it touches your emotions. And, and it's an examination of how this could happen. Why did this happen? What is Laramie like? You know, the town that would allow it to happen. Um, so I don't know what it's going to be like. You know, it'll be interesting to see. I still get goosebumps at some points uh, when the actors, you know, really nail it. And, um, and it's, you know, you get choked up.